I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Revisiting the wise men. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. And share, share our content. I almost missed it. Share our content. That helps us spread the word and donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. And that's what we're all about in Higher Things. I want to take a look again at the wise men. I want to think about them for a second. Eastern sages come to Jerusalem to the city of the king and ask a question, where's the one born king of the Jews? Now, Matthew is very, very clear and specific that Herod the king is disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him. Herod the king wants to be king. Herod the king wants to be the only king. Herod the king doesn't want anybody fighting for his throne. So aren't the, are the wise guys stupid guys for showing up and asking the king what's going on with the star they see in the rising? Well, hold up for a second. There's a couple of things that we should take note of. Celestial events, the ancients believed, stars, comets, and the like, denoted big events in the world. So, um, that was my fault, not his. Um, and so, when they see this star in the east, they understand how big of an event this actually is, how important of an event this actually is, how big of a deal this actually is. I used to think, don't they get it? They're going to start a, um, a Bethlehem version of Game of Thrones where somebody's going to come in and kill all the babies because they don't they, they went to, to Herod first. But I, I think this is more than that. You see, the wise men know what, they understand what's going on. And we should stop and ponder this too on this, the day after the Lord's Epiphany. This baby is born to save us all from Satan's power when we have gone astray. Tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. The deal here is they don't care about who's ruling, what the ruler is going to do, or what the ruler thinks. They treat the ruler with respect but they care more about the awesome, unbelievable event which is going on in Bethlehem of Judea, the one that they're tracking the star, that this baby is the Christ. This baby is going to be prophet, priest, king, and he's going to be king on the cross. That's the gift of myrrh. And so when we revisit the wise men, we are dealing with Eastern sages Gentiles, not Jews, who are clearly tracking what they believe to be one of the most important events in the history of the world. They don't care about King Herod. They don't care about what's going to happen afterwards. They're following a star to the star of all of history, recorded history, Jesus. And they're going to take that trek from Babylon or Assyria, or even Far East, and they're going to come. At, and, and this is sort of prophesied in the, in the Minor Prophets that this is going to happen, that, 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 they're, that they're going to find that there's going to be a celestial event and, and the Christ is to be born. But that got, they, whether they know that or not, doesn't matter, because what they do know is that the Savior of the world is born, and they go to worship him as God. They proskune, they bow down and worship him with their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. So when you revisit the wise men, 
a couple of things the wise men teach us. One, this birth is the life-changing, universe-changing event. Two, this birth is for all. It's not just for the people of Jerusalem and Judea or Jews. It's for all, even Eastern sages, even you and me. Three, they teach us how to worship him on our knees, receiving the Christ on our knees. There'll come a time in which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. They show us how to do it. And so if you see kneeling in church, you just be like, well, it's good enough for the wise men. It's good enough for me too. Because they know who this baby is and that he's born to die to save them, to save you too. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and my good buddy Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.